Hey guys, welcome to Rotor Ride. I'm Bubby FPV, and today we're going to be doing a dive gap tutorial. Specifically, really small gaps. This is something I get asked a lot because one part of my whole flow that I like to do is just in every video I want to throw in some insane tiny dive gap. So I'm here to teach you guys how to do that today. So I'm here at the Government Trading Institute, home of Rotorai Rampage, and Bandoland right here is one of the perfect places for me to teach this trick. You see all of these bars right here? In every one, there's a decent sized dive gap. We're gonna start off here, and then maybe we'll go to some even really harder ones later. All right, so the dive gap. Let me show you guys what it looks like real quick. So that is the dive gap we're going to be hitting. So there's many different ways to enter a dive gap. Right now, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a split S and power loop. Those are the two common ones that you'll see. So split S, I kind of like to think of it as if there's a, an imaginary backboard right over the gap. So what I'm doing is tossing my drone over it looking down. Then I give a blip of throttle to catch myself on the backboard. So imagine I'm going this way, blip of throttle to stop myself, then drop through the gap. Um, that's the easiest way to do it. Obviously, if you once you get better at it and you know especially where, you can just make it look smooth. Oh, there's a bar there. Well, still up, we're good. Let me just, so, like this. So even when you make it look smooth like that, you're always gonna be giving a little blip of throttle to catch it in the backboard. It's always better to overshoot and catch with throttle um, than to undershoot, because if you undershoot, you're not gonna make it to the gap. So let's imagine, my arm is the front end of the gap, and this is the back, and this is the hole we're gonna be going through. What you're doing is shooting your drone like this, blip of throttle to stop your momentum, and bam, you fall through. So when, when you notice when I was doing it on the actual dive gap, if you listen to the audio, we'll play it back real quick. You hear one big throttle to go up, to get up to the gap, and then you hear zero throttle, and then you hear that blip of throttle to catch myself. So when you're first trying to hit these small gaps, I think that the split S is the best way to do it. It's the best way to learn. Another step up from the split S, I think is a power loop. You know, you're gonna be kind of coming into it a little bit blind. So I think this one is a good step up after you've mastered the split S dive. Power loop dive gaps, here we go. Let me just show you guys what it looks like real quick. Like just like that. I've been doing these small dive gaps for a very long time, so that's why that power loop dive gap was so tight that I first did. So you've mastered the power loop, you've mastered the split S gap. Combine them, and here's the power loop dive gap. So the same thing, you get the backboard, and you hit and you go through. When we're entering the split S, remember, we're going catch and then dropping through the gap. This, it's the same, but instead it's a power loop up, catch, go through the gaps. The drone will sound very similar to when you're doing this, the split S dive gap. Uh, big throttle to get up there, and then blip of throttle to catch yourself. So here we go, do it one more time. So I'm going a little bit higher, just like that. That time I, I was going back really fast, so I had to give more throttle to catch myself. And that's going to be the hardest part, is learning the throttle control to actually catch yourself and not overshoot or undershoot the gaps. So those are the ways that I would do a split S dive gap and a power loop dive gap. I hope this, got, this trick helps you. Let's just go ahead and get some awesome flow and showcase how these tricks can be thrown into a sweet flow line. Here we go.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please post to Instagram your progress with this trick. You know, one thing I really love to help people out, so I hope that you guys learned something from this video. Um, any other tips or tricks you want to know about any other trick, or in particular this dive gap, drop them in the comments below. I'll be there to answer all of your questions. And if you guys want any more tutorials, let me know and I will do them. See you guys in the next episode of Rotorite. Ciao. Bobby time. <laughs>